Hey guys, welcome back to Selenium with Java, September 2023 batch, online training session 5. So in the first two sessions, you already learned a lot about the job, basic Java, like you already learned the data type, uh, then different kind of operation you can do, uh, different kind of loop, different conditional statement, wrapper class, exception handling, tie catch block, and finally block. So today, I will try to cover most of the important topics of Java Ops concept where you can get to know about the inheritance, method overloading, method overriding, the importance of super keyword, static keyword and final keyword and then abstraction or abstract classes and the importance of the interfaces in Java. So as part of the Java Ops concept, Ops is nothing but the object oriented programming structure. Okay, there are four important concepts apart from object and classes, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation and abstraction. So inheritance in Java is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behavior of a parent object. Using inheritance, user can create classes that are built in upon existing classes as well. So these are the part you will be learning in the framework part mostly. <coughs> so, so when user inherit from an existing class, then user can reuse methods and fields from the parent class and then you can add new method and field as well in the child class. The class where the class members is, are getting inherited is called super class or parent class or base class and to where it is getting inherited is called subclass, child class or derived class. So how you can establish the relationship between the parent and child class with the help of the extend keyword using in Java. So I'm just giving a simple example of inheritance. <coughs> Suppose say you are, you are the family member and you have some son or daughter. So definitely they will be having some properties from you and your wife as well, right? Both of you, right? Both the I mean parents, okay? <coughs> In case you are husband also, depend. <coughs> Suppose sometimes surname, sometimes different like height, color, right? Other internal characters they used to get it. So how can you get it? Like because of the like parent-child relationship. Similarly, grandparent to parent and parent to child, that is also happen possible. It is called <coughs> multi-level inheritance. So in Java, single inheritance means one class to another class and multi-level inheritance means parent to grandparent to parent to child is possible, but not multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance through class is not possible, but through inner interface, it is possible. <coughs> so that is the another question might interviewer I might ask, right? That what are the different kind of inheritance, right? You observed uh, during the Java. So you could see that say that <coughs> using class, you can go with the single inheritance and multi-level inheritance. But using class, multiple inheritance is not possible. However, multiple inheritance can be achieved through interfaces. So I will show you how you can create couple of class and how you can establish the relationship of inheritance for the different classes. <coughs> okay, so we'll go to the Eclipse. So we'll create a first class, one class. So I can give some class called uh, Season 5 class A and definitely I can select the public static void main. So here let's define some variable integer x equal to say 30. Okay, that is the variable I have defined at the class level and also I can create some methods say public void say add integer a comma integer b this is the two argument i am passing and this is the method here and i want to just get the sum of these two method a plus b that is simple method i have written now this is the main method in case i want to access these two variable so this variable x and the method so i first i need to create a object or instance here in the main method say object a with the help of the new keyword and then I can get the variables so with the help of the object reference for the class A dot 
x right you could see now it is coming from the session 5 class a and now in case i want to uh, access the method here add method and here i can pass some variable say 30 and like 45 now if you execute your code so definitely there will be no problem at all so at the class level i have defined one variable and one method and at, at the, in the main method level, I will be creating the object code instance for the class. Then I will be accessing those variable and those method and it is working fine. So variable first is uh, kind of calling the variable value. So 30 is getting printed. Then this is the summation of two variable 30 plus 45 equals 75. So that is perfectly working fine. But this is the isolated class. Okay. Now let's try to create one more class. Say session five class b and i can also select the public static void main method also and here i will try to create copy those thing and i will change it accordingly at the class level so in, instead of x i can mention y and many value will be like suppose say 50 and here instead of addition i can use subtraction and it will be a minus b now similar way I can create a object or instance at the class B level or as well similar way say object B with the help of the new keyword and now I can call the variable at the class level dot y as well as I can call the method which is subtraction method right i can give something called uh, 52 and here like 25 so it will be subtraction a minus b now if you want to run it <coughs> you could see the whatever variable i have declared y this value is 50 is coming and this is a minus b 52 minus 25 equal 27 so that is two isolated class a and b <coughs> then now the questions will come then how i can <coughs> establish the relationship of inheritance like parent and child so now say this is the two class so can you access the variable whatever defined in class a in the class b or the method right vice versa let's try to do like whatever object i have created i want to access the um, i want to access the variable x you could see it is not coming right x is not coming Similarly, if I want to access the method add, right, whatever defined in the class, it is also not coming. Why? Because these are the two isolated class and there is no relationship. Suppose in case you are going, right, two person you are going, right, and there is no relationship present. So definitely you cannot find any similarity or you cannot access the other person. But in case like parent-child mechanism is there, right, some other person can easily found them because of some internal characteristic match. So similar way, if you want to, right create something called parent and child so what you need to do you need to use extend keyword extend and you need to give the other class name whatever you don't you know, want to access in the child class so this is your child class and this will be your parent class whatever class you want to extend it this will be parent here class a will be parent and class b will be child because the child class you are extending from the parent class now what will happen so class b is my child class okay and class a is my parent class so child class can <coughs> access all the properties all the methods all the variable everything in the ch child class from the parent class but not vice versa parent class cannot access any properties from the child class but child class can access everything from the parent class now you can access the a okay you could see there is not a x x right and similarly in case you want to add access the add method you could see it is also coming just a minute i am just closing my uh, door windows door So now you could have able to see there is no error at all and you are able to access the variable and the method from the class a 
which is the parent class for B class, right? Now, if you want to execute your code, you would able to see there will be no error at all. <coughs> so, it is directly accessing X. You could see from where it is coming, session 5 class A. And also the add method, you could see also it is coming from session 5 class A. If you just mouse this over to the method, it will automatically show you what's method from which class all this stuff. What is the argument? So, that is the way with the help of the extends keyword, you can establish the relationship like parent and child and you can write acquire all the property from the parent class to the child class, but not the vice versa. Child to parent is not possible in Java, but parent to child. It is called single level inheritance. Then what is multi level inheritance? Let us try to create one more class. Say session 5 class C. Yeah, and I will just uh, let's cover it. After that, I will go for your questions. Okay, so uh, let's similar way. Let's try to create a couple of variables and a method in the uh, child uh, in the class C. Right? I will create one more variable called integer z. I can give some value called hundred, and I can create something called multiply. And here it will be start. Now, here also I can create an object here. Say objc equal to new, and then I can access right uh, that variable whatever is defined isolated way in the object class C, right? That is not be a problem here. Dot. You could see J is coming, and now similar way. With the help of that object, I can also call the multiply here, say uh, 15 multiplied by 20, 20, 12. You could see now if you run your code, so whatever uh, that particular C class will be defined, it is working fine. C 100 it is coming from here, and the multiply value, right? 15 multiplied by 12 equal to 180. But in the, that C class, you cannot access the class A or class B. But now I will be again establish the relationship, extend keywords which I will be extending, I will be extending the class B. So, what is the relationship now happening? Okay. So, here class C is the child of class B. So, class C is the child, class B is the parent and whereas in other class, class B is the child and class A is the parent. So, what establish relationship established? A is the grandparent, B is the parent and C is the child. So, that is called multi-label inheritance multi level inheritance here a to b it is called single level inheritance only parent and child but here c is a child of b whereas b is a child of a so a is a grandparent b is a parent and c is a children or child right now with the help of this object right you can call or you can access both the parent as well as grandparent properties or the variable or the method you could see now y is coming y is coming from which class session 5 class b which is the parent for class c okay now again you can access the x variable so what is x from where it is coming it is coming from the class a so which is the parent for class b and grandparent for class c similar way you can access the method also subtraction which is coming from the session 5 class b i can pass something called 30 and like 28 and also i can add call that add which is the from the grandparent class class a so 40 and 33 so that is the way you can establish the relationship called grandparent to parent to child so in java single inheritance and multi level inheritance possible multiples means if you give some comma that is the multiple but in java for the classes that multi pill inheritance is not allowed but it is allowed only through interface not through class okay so you could see now it's coming fine right working fine so second part y variable which is the nothing here y variable is value 
what is the value of the y 50 is coming then the method right whatever you have tried to call in the c class uh, the x x is also 30 then subtraction 30 minus 28 equal to 2 and then the addition 40 plus 33 equal to 73 so that is the way we can establish the relationship of inheritance so through inheritance using class we can do single level inheritance and multi level inheritance single level mean parent to child multi level mean grandparent to parent to child but in java like multiple inheritance is not possible one class can be for the multiple at the same time it is not possible through classes but it is possible through interfaces yeah and the, i will take the your question yes a is the parent for class b yes no you cannot establish the relationship right you again you cannot extend it right that will it will contradict na how it is possible so for a for a single parent there can be multiple children that is possible so suppose you can create a class D and again you can write create the established relationship A to D is possible. Single parent can have multiple children. That is possible through classes. That may not be a problem. But you cannot do vice versa. No, 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 no. Suppose say A is the grandparent, B is the parent and C is the child. But again in the class if you want to extend like something class C it will throw the error it will not be possible because that relationship is already established in the, because in the new class you can all any anything you can do it for again you are creating a new class. Hmm. Hmm. Yes 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 that is possible because one parent can have multiple children nah, that not be a problem. So that may be grandparent here, right? So in the child class D also. So here. So for class C and D, both the classes B is parent and A is grandparent now. Okay. So that is also possible. That will be not be any problem. So if you create an object. No, why it is? Main class? No. Classes will not come under any main method. Classes is outside the main method. You could see dot if you give dot x, y everything is coming right. Which is coming from the class B and class A. So single class you can definitely uh, have this part. Now, if you want to ex execute, it will not be a problem. So, single grandparent can have multiple parent, and one parent can have multiple children as well. That not be a problem. So, that is the concept of inheritance. Any other questions, anyone? So, this is the parent-child relationship. So, in the framework, you also also see that you will be creating a base class. And using the base class for every page object class, right? You'll be extending the base class so that all the properties from the base class, all the child or the page classes will be acquired. So that you no need to create every time all the class. In case you need to change something, you'll be just updating the base class so that automatically all the child class or the page class will be acquiring the updated properties. Okay, clear guys. Then another important concept is called polymorphism. So polymorphism is a Java concept by which user can perform a single action in different way. So polymorphism de derived from the Greek word. Poly means many, forms means, sorry, morphs means ways. So polymorphism means like multiple or many ways. So we can do the operation in multiple way. So there are two type of polymorphism available in Java. One is compile time polymorphism. 
or sometimes it is called static polymorphism or called method overloading and one is called runtime polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism or called method overriding. So, what is method override overloading right in you can have two more method with same name, but how you can do it. So, you can create two or multiple method using same name, but you need to change the number of argument or the type of argument. So, type of argument means you need to change the data type or number of argument means you need to change the variable name. So, that is the way you can do the overloading. So, okay. So, what is the basic example I can give of overloading? So, you are a person here, right? You are giving taking the training for me. So, you are a student for me. In case you are doing some job at the organization, so you are the employee for the organization. In case you are going to the bank, you are a customer for the bank. In case you are staying your family, you can be father, mother, daughter, sister, brother like that for your family. So, you same person based on the circumstances, you are behaving differently. So, that is the your many form of you and you are treated as different entity based on the circumstance, based on the situation, based on the condition. So, that is the concept of polymorphism many forms. So, here right I already suppose in the class A I already created a method right. So, is it possible to create the method n number of times? So, why, why the error message is coming? I tried to copy the method right why the error message is coming? Duplicate name yeah it is called duplicate method, but duplicate method is possible either changing the number of argument or the type of argument. So, what is the type of argument? I need to change the data type. So, instead of int, if I change it to double, so it will be not be a problem, right? It is called data type, integer, double, sort, int, all this stuff, right? Float everything. And type of argument, in this case, I am changing it another thing, integer. Now, you could see error message gone. So, this is called number of argument. Instead of three, I want to pass three arguments. Sometimes I want to do some addition. So, it can be two, three, four, five also. But my objective is still same, right? I want to just sum up all the variable. So, now you could see there is three method. Now, next time whenever you want to call this, right, SN will be calling dot add. You could see now three things is coming. So, you can do whatever you want to select it. So, you can give some double. And next time you can also access three variable where you need to select here this one. So, you can give 30, 40 and 67 like that. So, it is working fine. So, one is with two variable, one is with three variable and one is with two other type of variable called double. So, that is the called shift of method overloading. So, whatever what real time example you already seen can anyone tell me how what as of now what real time example you already seen in selenium. You already use lot. So, that are the different way right people will ask the question driver dot find element by dot id or class name or name or xpath css link text parcel link these are the concept of the polymorphism right. You are getting the different method where you are changing accordingly you are giving the thing accordingly. In case of the link, you are giving the link exactly. If it is the xpath, you are giving the xpath. But find element is having lot of different right methods, which is method is find element, but by dot id or by dot class name or by dot xpath you are doing it. So, that is the polymorphism concept in real time selenium example. <coughs> then this is the compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism or method overloading. Then what is runtime polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism or method overriding? Okay. Say I will create two more class for let's start point of time. Yeah, tell me. Overloading is a concept of polymorphism only. Nah? In polymorphism, there are two types. One is method overloading, one is method overriding. Okay. So, method overriding, why it is static? 
that is called static or compile time right whenever you compile you can get to know the objective right the program right but why it is runtime polymorphism or dynamic or the method overriding so you would require two classes where there will be relationship called establishment should be there which is called parent child and in case you are having same method in both the parent class and the child class and in case you want to access this method in the child class your parent class value will be overridden it will nullify your parent class and your child class will take the present tense that is called runtime polymorphism method overriding suppose say in case say your surname is suppose say uh, kundu right okay here so you have a method called surname where you have the value called kundu but in case your daughter or your son is having same field called surname exact same and in case he is having or she is having same value there is no problem but in case suppose say instead of kundu they want to create their own surname use their own surname maybe from the mother side or the father side any any side so instead of kundu right say it's my surname they want to use pal they have the same method and in the child class in case they want to access that particular method so what value should it take it should take the parent or the child that's the question will come so the thing is that it will give the precedence to the child class not the parent class so child parent class value will be overridden and child class value will take the privilege so that is the concept of method overriding in case both the parent and child class having the exactly the same method name but different value so your parent class value will be nullified and your child class value will take the precedence so if the sub class or child class has the same method as declared in the parent class it is known as method overriding in java when a method in a sub class has the same name same parameter or signature and the same return type or sub type as a method in a super class then the method in the sub class is said to override the method in the super class constructor cannot be overridden a method declared final can be overridden static method cannot be overridden let's try to create something say class animal class okay so i have just trying to create two method one is bring one is eat okay so most of the element used to drink water so that is the common for all the element which you no need to change it but eating part right in case we are human being we used to eat veg non veg in case it's a deer right they used to eat only grass in case it is a tiger they used to only take the like uh, the uh, meat in case it is a elephant they only used to take uh, like banana and other stuff right all the vegetables they do not use it non veg so that is the property will vary right so animal is the child class sorry parent class so in animal right there can be like monkey donkey like cat dog human being all this stuff will come okay so eat part generic will be that right anyone can eat anything vegetable non vegetable but it will vary based on the particular object type okay so what i will do i will create a object called instead of animal this is the parent class i'll create a something called tiger object which will be extending animal 
okay and here I will be creating the same method called eat okay so tiger eat eat meat okay Now I'll create an object here for the tiger class. Say Royal Bengal Tiger. That is the object. Now, if you want to call the method dot eat method. Okay. So what will be the output? Can anyone tell me? This is the animal. The method is there, it this is the it same method. You could say method name is same, but this is the body is different. And here also tiger class, the method is it, but body is different. So what will be the output? Here. Yeah. Because your parent class will be overridden. Because your child class will take the privilege. In case exactly same method is there. So that is the way you need to think. Sometime right sometime I need to overwrite so just what is the real-time example right as of now you do, uh, do not understand the concept of explicit or implicit weight then you can slowly understand suppose say sometime right whenever you want to go navigate or surfing through your website it might take some time like 30 seconds 40 seconds like like that sometimes to play, load the page fully so what I generically do right as a generic concept I used to create some implicit weight maybe for 30 seconds so that within 30 seconds most of my page will be loaded and it will not throw any error okay so the method will be implicit weight but in case you are dealing with 100 pages you know that for one or two pages instead of 30 seconds it might take three minute time so what you'll be doing for those two pages you'll be creating the same method which where you will be wait for three minutes instead of 30 seconds so that only for those two pages your whatever base class thing or the parent class thing you have written those will be overridden and your child class will take the precedent so that your script will never fail but 98 percent thing it will work with the parent class part only for those two child class i will change the behavior right i will override the parent behavior parent class behavior so that is the important concept of the like parent child relationship and the method overriding okay then in conjunction with the method overriding suppose say your question will be that i want to still access my parent class property as well then how i can access it or maybe i want to access both parent and child class due to some requirement then how can i do it okay so that question will come then in java to, to avoid this problem in case you want to still access the parent class part there is a concept right or maybe let's let's go with another variable also here i can give some variable say here uh, for the animal say um, uh, string color equal to animal will be having some color right say any color So here same variable I will be doing it for the tiger also. So it will affect both your like variable as well as the method. method. So maybe it is like black and white right. Royal Bengal tiger primary color black and white. Okay, And any whatever color you want to prefer. Similarly if you want to access <coughs> that color variable in the child class. So it will override the parent class. Okay. Now you could see the black and white. It is uh, that part is overriding, right? Any color. Okay. But now next question is that I want to access both the variable as well as the method, both the from the both the class. Then how can I do that? So there is a super keyword available in Java. The super keyword in Java is a reference variable 
which is used to refer immediate parent class object. Wherever user create the instance of subclass, an instance of parent class is created implicitly, which is referred by the super reference variable. Super keyword can be used at method level, variable level, sometimes in constructor level also. Private member of super class cannot be called, only by public and protected member method can be called by super class. In case you are declaring something called private, you cannot call the super class. Okay. So, how can you do it? So, in the parent class, I will be creating a method called public void all are call colors. So, so, in case you want to access the child class color, you can do it simply color, right? And in case you want to access the parent class color, so you need to use super keyword dot color. You could see now it is coming from the animal class, parent class. So, that is done. Now, what you will be doing? Now, I will call that method, right? Simply, I will call that method dot all color now it will be having both the parent and child class you could see black and white any color now it you don't want to access the child class properties so you can just simply comment it out or remove it and you can get the parent class also with this super keyword concept you could see it is giving the any color if you just comment it out also, you could see this is coming as any color which is coming from the parent class. So, that is the way still in case you want to access the parent class property, you can do it. So, similarly for the method also, right, what you can do, right, whatever method you already created, like let us create one more method. Instead of eat, I can create something called eat all. Okay, and here I simply call the eat method for the child class and for the parent class I will be calling super dot eat. So, it is coming from the child class. Then I will instead of eat, I will call eat all method. Okay, now it will giving me the both the parent and child class reference. Now, next time in case I do not want to call the child class I want to simply call the parent class that is the way it is possible also. So, definitely it will override the parent class, but in case still you want to access the, that write the parent class. So, you need to use the super keyword which will be accessible at the variable level as well as at the method level. Yeah, I think some questions yeah. tell me. Yes if required, but generally in case, generally in case it is having the same field variable name, not about the value or the same method name germ normally and in case parent child relationship established only, then your child class thing will be taking the present tense and your parent class will be overridden. But still in case you want to access it, so you need to use the super keyword. So, you are forcedly trying to access the parent class behavior or the property with the help of super keyword. But normal Java characteristic that it will in case it is same variable name or same method name, it will override the parent class and child class will take the present name. But with the help of the super keyword, you are bypassing the thing and you are trying to access forcefully with the help of the super keyword. No, child to parent is not possible in Java, I told, right? Only parent to child or grandparent to parent or parent to child. That is the one way communication, not the both way communication. Yeah. yeah Louis Sadananda Suban. Yes, I am, I am having one question regarding yeah. this. Can we call uh, from the main method? No, you need to create a method here, right? Otherwise, you cannot create. I, I, I know I think that you can also create it not like that let us see yeah, we can also access it without also right. So, here Royal Bengal Tiger in case uh, yeah you can do it let us see 
डॉट सुपर माइट बी अ प्रॉब्लम आई बेटर डॉट सुपर डॉट नो इट इज नॉट कमिंग सी नीड टू क्रिएट एक्टर जनरली आई यूज टू क्रिएट इन द सेम वे ओनली सो इट इज नॉट अलाउिंग directly you are not able to do so better to create some class level so that you can access it okay luis but uh, you are able to get the concept right luis so practice is fine you everybody need to do not a single person <laughs> okay okay cool cool so question should be there right in case you are having any small doubt also let's ask me and i will definitely write uh, over it so that you can get more and more clarity okay because this is the very very important concept okay it looks very easy <laughs> but whenever you will be trying to <laughs> mm, yes so this this small concept once you get the clarity then whenever you will be going to the framework then you can easily understand and correlate otherwise right somebody says that i want to learn the framework but without this concept how can every step will be struggling then right and you will not be getting the insight so that is the reason right we will cover the first the a b c d is then small small sentence then you will go for the big sentence any other questions anyone method overloading and method overriding yeah yes method overloading is the compile time right because it is only applicable for single class whereas method overriding means you need to require two classes one will be parent and one will be child and your parent class will be overridden that is the concept of method overriding then the next one important concept is called abstraction so abstraction is a process of hiding implementation details and showing only functionality to the user in another way it shows important thing to the user and hides internal details for example sending sms where user type the text and send the message one do not know the internal processing about the message delivery abstraction focus on what the object does instead of how it does a class which is declared with the abstract keyword is known as abstract class in java it can have abstract and non abstract method what is non abstract method it cannot it can have any body in the uh, method where well, abstract method means it cannot have any body the method so i'm just trying to give you another example of abstraction suppose say in case you are using any gmail hotmail or the microsoft mail you are just simply giving the recipient names and automatically mail is getting triggered but do you know the internal characteristic how the mail is getting triggered how you are getting out of it, all this stuff no so you are just getting the ui part right but internal characteristic is hidden so that other company right can they can create in easily similar way that is the reason all this stuff so it's a hiding some implementation detail and showing the functionality only just ui level you are able to see that thing but you do not know the how the coding is done for your project also you are doing some sort of testing right certainly on only ui level but do not know how the code is developed so for that you would require some sort of insight sometime so so we are knowing what the object does instead of how it is does okay so here like say um i will try to create some class how can you create a abstract class an abstract class cannot have any main method okay and you cannot create any object or instance for the abstract class so you need can select an abstract so that is the way say i'll be creating a abstract class called bank okay 
and no need to select the public study if you select it also it is fine but it you cannot create an object or instance so bang so this is the abstract class abstract keyword should be there for the abstract class and abstract can have both abstract method as well as non abstract method abstract method means suppose say public void say bank name so that is the one method i can create say bank so this is i need to give double quote so this is the non abstract method right so it is having the body so i can create anything for the bank name but what is abstract method abstract method means it cannot have any body okay so say um it will only have the no abstract keyword abstract say void like say mm, 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 home loan interest rate okay you could see so that is the method it cannot have any body in case you want to give some body it will throw immediately error you could see abstract method do not specify a body only non abstract method can have body but abstract method cannot specify a body okay and this is the class is called abstract why it is required primarily primarily abstract class will create only hold both abstract and non abstract method but primarily it will be holding non -ab so abstract method suppose say i want to create the same method but it will vary i don't want to show how it rate is getting calculated like for the right for deposit interest rate or say maybe the home loan interest rate car loan interest rate or your uh, personal interest rate all this what i don't want to show how it is calculated right i want to show you that this is my percentage this is my percentage of rate right for it will vary from bank to bank so that calculation is driven by something but whenever it will be implemented by the bank they will let you know this is the percentage so this is the abstract class sorry this is the abstract method this is the abstract class bank you cannot create any object of any abstract class in the main method if you try to create something called bank equal to new bank it will throw the error so any abstract class can you cannot create any object or instance for any abstract class then why abstract class will be there in the market so you will be having your base class right and you want to just simply implement it in the other class other n number of class you want to implement it okay so that is the primary benefit of the abstract class okay so i will be just creating the abstract method without any body okay and but and i will be implementing it in the other class so let's try to create so it will be not be possible to create the object or instance of the abstract class i'll be creating something called say sbi bank right or a, 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 a hdfc where i'll be extending the bank okay so you could see error message is coming why so in case you are extending any abstract class and in the abstract class in case some abstract method is written automatically you have to implement it otherwise you cannot do a proceed you could see now it is there so you can remove that override part and here you can give some interest rate okay suppose say rate of i roi is say 8.5% for hdfc but that can vary for icici or right bank of baroda bandhan bank or I, all this stuff other bank okay now for the hdfc you can create a object right say uh, sort leg office sort leg that is your bank name sort leg kolkata equal to new hdfc okay now with the help of that object you can call that abstract method dot 
what is the method name home loan interest rate and it will be working fine so that is the concept of abstraction in case you want to pursue that is coming so in case also you are having non abstract method you can still access it dot bank name but in case you are having an abstract method that method you need to implement it in the relevant child class then only you can proceed accordingly so what is the importance of the abstraction because you don't want to let anyone know the implementation it. you just want to show the functionality to this user for the abstract method so as and when you are defining some class as an abstract class that particular class can contain both abstract method as well as non abstract method non abstract method means normal method it can have any body and as and when you are defining some method as abstract method it cannot have any body and as and when you are defining some class as an abstract class you cannot create a object or instance of that particular class so you can create a new class and you can extend the abstract class and as and when you are extending the abstract class to the new class automatically all the abstract method you need to implement in the child class and then you need to give the body accordingly after that in the child class you can create a object or instance and you can call all the abstract or non abstract method and it will work accordingly so that is the concept of abstraction any questions so here abstraction is not 100% abstract right class so abstract class is not 100% abstract why because it can ca have abstract method as well as non abstract method now i will discuss about the 100% abstraction in nature so that is the reason there is a concept came called interface which is 100% abstract is nature means whatever you will be implementing everything will be hidden right only the functionality you have to incorporate why interface came into the market and in where it is 100% abstract in nature so interface is a java type definition block which is 100% abstract all the interface method by default public and abstract static and final modifier are not allowed for interface method in interface variable are public static and final by default interface also cannot be instantiated means you cannot create the object or instance for the interface and it does not contain any constructor so interface in case you want to in implement interface to a class so uh, extend you need to use implement keyword instead of extend so class to class it will be extend keyword interface to interface also it will be extend keywords but interface to class it will be implement keyword so that is the question might come in the interview then how you can establish the relationship between a class to class between a interface to interface between a interface to class so class to class it will be extend keyword interface to interface it will be again extend keyword but interface to class right or class to interface it will be extend implements keyword so class that implements an interface must implement all the method declared in the interface so interface mean 100 percent abstract in nature and in case in a single class you want to implement the interface so you have to implement all the unimplement method in case you cannot ignore a single one it will throw you the error so from interface to interface you can use extend keyword so why interface will play and pivotal role in java suppose say you are a manufacturer car company right and say you are uh, kind of uh, manufacturing from india so every country like is having their own laws rules lego regulation right it will vary in case you already travel to other country like australia us canada so you could see some differences actually in our country right a diverse state is the front right right side but in the other country it will be left side so for country to country it will vary why interface will be required suppose in case you want to manufacture some car so every government or the car authority will be introducing some regulation mandatory which you need to implement for your car definitely after that you can incorporate anything whatever you want to do suppose in case you want to implement a car right any brand so government already created an interface where they already created a method called car should be having some vehicles sorry having some wheels some engine some seat capacity some horn some front light some back light so what it will happen in case 
you want to implement this car interface to your class, suppose you are a company from Hyundai, you want to implement the car interface called four wheeler, right? Or the like uh, maybe the passenger car. So you have to implement all the interface so that you will never forget any mandatory thing to implement it. And it will vary. You can have uh, maybe like 1000cc uh, your engine, maybe 2000cc, whatever you want to do, you can change it. But engine should be there. It should be having some tires, it should be having some door, it should be having some front light, it should be having some back light. Sometime in case your government is also right mandatory like for the AC, it should be having some AC, it should be having some music system in case government is mandatory. Right? It should be having some horn, all this stuff. Okay? So it will vary based on the thing and the, in, in case you want to manufacture the com any card, you have to implement all the right thing but you can change it accordingly suppose in case some car might have big car it may, might have six wheels right it can have four light at the front four at the back but it can have one light at the front also it will vary from the company to company and design to design so Honda is a company but design might be like i10 i20 and other also suppose say tata is a company right tata triago right other part there are like bmw another company but they have to implement the basic after that they can do any luxurious thing okay so seat belt also be required they can mandatory so without seat belt you cannot develop a car so that your car will be flawless so that is the concept of the interfaces so how we can create interface so say i will be creating an interface called this is the concept of interface, say car. So how I will be creating the method, you don't need to declare anything called abstract. As and when you are creating the interfaces, so all your method will be automatically abstract in nature, 100% abstraction. So I will be creating something called car say it should be having basic thing public void without any body say engine right it will be 100 percent abstract class so you cannot give any body right say wheels say um, seat say front light say back light Say one more important thing, it should be there, basic thing. Say backlight horn. Otherwise, you cannot establish or develop any kind of card, whether it's luxurious or not, does not matter. Okay. And I will create one more interfaces, which is only for the luxury card. Okay. So where I'll be having um, kind of are two important thing I want to declare uh, two important part called AC and play music system for the luxury car it should be there but the normal car it might be not be there okay so that is the way you can do it now here interface to interface you can extend car so automatically car also it will be having added to you the luxury car so ac music system and other part will be added now let's try to create one more class so interface to interface it will be extend also so say hyundai this is the class i want to create and i want to extend implements because in class to interface it will be implements keyword color is getting changed and luxury car so automatically car also will be added here because luxury car you could see now error message is coming what error message so you need to implement all the unimplemented what is the unimplemented engine wheel seat fly sorry uh, whatever thing is there light right back light front light horn that is coming from the car interface and from the AC and music system is coming from the luxury car interface. So you have to implement everything. Otherwise, you cannot grow proceed. So that 
you will never forget to implement any mandatory part. So that is the importance of the interface. Now you could see you get everything. Okay. And here you can remove the override part because that is not required. And you can give some body for everything. So for engine, suppose say you want to give some body, right? So I so say maybe uh, 1200 cc wheels say five wheels right one including stippling okay seat say five seat two at the front back two. right backlight two backlight right one horn okay two front light good ac good music system like that that is the way you can give the body now you can create the object or instance for the class not the interface say item or maybe the grand item that is the object equal to new hyundai now you can use all the method access all the method so you already developed right and you have already used them define the body say ac say backlight say font light right say dot music system like that now you could able to get the detailed details so that is the way you can also implement right extend interface to interface and you can also create the class and where you can implement the interface so automatically all the hundred percent abstract class you need to implement in the class level and that is the way you can create n number of interface and n number of classes so you can create a class for bmw which can have more luxurious feature you can create a class for others like which is having more prices and you can create other interfaces which will be having other mandatory luxurious like methods so which will be abstract in nature so interface will be having 100 percent abstract nature okay and interface to interface will be extend keyword class to class extend keyword but class to interface it will be implements keyword and as and when you want to implement an interface so whatever method already defined abstract method defined you need to implement all the method in case you are removing any single thing immediately it will throw the error no it is not possible you could see immediately error came right whatever thing that you could see car engine is not missing so you have to implement otherwise it will throw the error so that is the way right for any organization right they they have to rely on the rules and they have to follow the rules develop for their sector or for their government or for their country or state like that so that is the concept of interfaces so that you will never forget to implement the mandatory details and your like the product will be not be like uh, defect uh, prone okay so that you can mandatory thing you can implement it so that um, uh, important thing you can right uh, ignore right to implement it okay so that that is the concept of the in abstraction so abstract class can have non abstract method is only abstract method but interface will be 100 percent abstraction in nature so for the interface you cannot create any object or instance interface to interface you can extend it but whenever you want to implement right you need to class to interface it will implement keyword and as and when you are implementing the interface to a class you have to implement all the unimplemented method which are 100 percent abstract in nature you need to call the method and you need to give the body after that in the particular class you can access them based on your requirement so that is the concept of interfaces and abstraction guys an abstract class any doubt is it clear so try to understand with the example right so that you will never forget the concept okay in case you are able to recapture this example it will give you more and more clarity and you can easily recapture the thing and it will help you down the line right to uh, i mean get more clarity on the concept as well
ओके कूल अयंती आर यू गुड Not able to hear. Okay, fine. Uh, in case you're having any question, I can take in the last. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Tell me. So that is the design I told, right? So what is the concept of intervention and abstraction? Hundred percent abstract in nature. So I don't want to show the implementation to the other stakeholder. So that is the reason we are creating the abstract class. Interface is 100% abstract in nature. So just I want to like use them, but I don't want to show anyone. In case your car company is there, right? Then Hyundai car will be vanished in a single day. Other company will take the similar thing, right? And they will develop the other car with low prices. In case any company is designing a new 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 logo or new brand, right? <laughs> is the other company can access them? No, because that is the hidden part, right? Everything cannot be disclosed. So, you, in case you are working for an organization, right? You cannot disclose it to other thing. Okay, you can work for them, but you cannot disclose it. That is the law and regulation you need to follow, so that other computer can you easily right get the information. And so that is the thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that part I will let you know. Okay. That I'll probably let you know, okay, that how we'll be doing it. Actually, primarily in the page object model, right, you'll be implementing all this part, right? There's add the rate, find by, all this stuff is available. So here you can uh, use them, all this stuff, okay, in the real time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Slowly, you will try to understand whatever will be kind of covering. Most of the thing will be implementing it in the real time framework. But once you get the concept, then it will be very easy for you guys, okay, to... Uh, and the implementation detail. So last two uh, part from today's topics, I'll cover it. The importance of static keyword and importance of file and keyword. So static keyword in Java is used for memory management mainly. We can apply Java static keyword with variables, method, block, and nested class. The static keyword belong to the class, then an interface of the instance of the class. When a variable is declared as static, then a single copy of variable is created and shared among all the object at the class level. Static variable are essentially global variable. All instance of the class share the same static variable. So this is called, uh, you are, I think few days back someone is asking, right, what is the global variable? As and when you are declaring something called static in the real time framework also, public static web driver equal to diver, right? So that automatically that diver instance, anyone from the class, they can use it so that there will be no duplicate effort. Otherwise, there will be a contradiction. And also some method, right? You want to access them you know, globally. Just like the screenshot. Anyone can use that for the taking the screenshot. So those are the part you can use the static. So automatically, without creating the object or instance, you can access them. Okay. So, see here. But in case you are having the parent-child relationship, right? In case you are defining some as a static, it will be throwing the error in the child class. Okay. As and when you are saving, you could see some error is coming. You cannot define something as static or abstract or final in case there is an inheritance concept established. Now let's see the static part. Okay. So here there are a couple of methods, right? I have defined. So what I'll be defining this variable x and I'll be creating one more variable called say i. Here I'll be defining static int int and here I'll be defining public static this method so this is error because there is not change this is the java keyword okay now this variable is static and this method is static now let's what i will do right i will be removing this code i'm commenting out this code so i did not create any object or instance now so i can access the variable whatever defined and static without creating the object. So I variable I can access it. Okay. And similarly the method whatever is static method add this part, these two part I can access it also without creating any object. It will not throw any error. So that is the concept of static. 
as and when you are defining something static, automatically memory management will be done and it will be treated as a global variable. And you can access anywhere without creating any object or instance. But in case it is not a static, then you need to create the object or instance first. Then you can access it. You already seen in the other line of code, right? But static, without creating the object or with creating the object, you can access the static variable on the static method. But for the non-static, you need to first create the object or instance. After that, you can access it. So now in case you want to access the other variable x, right? What will happen? You could see error message is coming, right? Why? Cannot make a static reference to the non-static field. Similarly, other method also in case you want to access, right? Say uh, three variable. So this is non-static. You could see again similar kind of error will be coming. In case you are again defining static, it will be not be a problem. Error message will be gone here. So that is the way static will play and pivot a role in the real time framework also. Okay, error message gone. And in case there is establishment, relationship establishment, right? Parent child, you cannot use anything called static. It will throw the error. Okay, so your parent thing you cannot be static or final or maybe the other one. Okay. So that is the importance of the static keyword primarily in Java. And the importance of final keyword. So you already know the concept called like inheritance, then also the method overriding. But in case you want to prevent something, right? You want, don't want to change a variable value, or you don't want to write, uh, you have already created a class, but you don't want to write, create the that class as a parent to anyone. Or in case you already created a method, but that method you don't want to override, then you need to use the final keyword. So final keyword is used in different contexts. First of all, uh, final is a non-access modifier, just like the static. Applicable only to a variable or a method of or a class. So like following are the different contexts where final is used. Final variable, so that it will prevent you to change the variable value. Final method, it will prevent you the method overriding. Final class, it will prevent you the inheritance. So say, here, let's comment it out. Integer a equal to say 30. Integer, okay. And then I can change the value also in number of times. a equal to say 40, a equal to say 60. 50 like that. Now, I, in case I want to access the variable value a, what value it will be printed here? So, similar a variable is having 30, 40, 50. So, what value it will be printed out in the console? Yeah, because it will take the last value. But now, my, con my, my concern is that I don't want to change the variable value by anyone. So, what I can do? I can do it as a final right i can make it as a final variable so where i will do i will make it final in so you could see now right wherever you are changing the value wherever error is coming what error is coming right remove the final modifier or you need to remove it so you cannot change the value after declaring the variable value is final so that is the way you can prevent the value change sometime you write you don't want to change your variable value by anyone so that you can make it final the other person didn't want to use it, they cannot change the value. Next one, in case you don't want to establish the relationship like parent-child. Okay, so there is a parent-child relationship available, animal and class, tiger, right? So what you need to do, like you can make this is called final, public final class. You could see automatically in the child class error will come. What error will come? Right? The tiger cannot be subclass of the final class. That is the way you can prevent the inheritance. Right? I don't want to make my uh, animal class to any, any parent class for any class. So that is the way you can prevent it. That is the way final keyword can be used to prevent the inheritance. Then next one is that final keyword can be used for to prevent the method overriding. So here it is already there. Right? It method is there. So I will be using public final void so that particular method cannot be inherited right overloaded over overrided by any other subclass method you could see the message is coming here why you could see cannot override the final method from the animal override 
so either you need to remove it here or either you need to change the final keyword so that is the primary three context actually used right where final keyword can be used okay so i will repeat it once more time then i will take for any questions so in java there are a couple of important concept which is the object oriented programming structure where inheritance is nothing but a relationship of parent child or grandparent to parent or child so you need to use the ex extend keyword for the relationship so uh, parent class will be called parent class or base class super class child class will be called as derived class or subclass so single inheritance and multi level inheritance is possible for the classes in java but multi level is not possible for the class but which is possible for the interfaces polymorphism is the like many forms of a single thing entity so there are two type one is the method overloading method overriding method overloading means same method you can write create n number of times either by changing the number of argument or the type of argument method overriding mean in case you are having a parent child relationship and in case you are having the same method in the both the child and parent class exactly same or the variable and in case you want to access the same variable of the method of the child class level your parent class thing will be overridden and in your child class king will be getting the presentence but in case still you want to access the parent class you need to use the super keyword help so which can be accessed at the like variable level or the method level abstraction is nothing but the hiding the implementation and you want to show the only the exact functionality to the user level you don't want to disclose your internal right uh, the way right whatever we have developed it so um, abstract class you can create it an abstract class can have non abstract method as well as abstract method abstract method means that method cannot have any body non abstract method means it can have body as well an abstract class you cannot create a object or instance directly in that class so what you need to do you need to create another class where you need to extend the abstract class and automatically all the unimplemented method you need to use it so interface is nothing but 100% abstract in nature though you are not using the abstract keyword for declaring the method but automatically as and when you are creating the interfaces whatever right method you are declaring everything will be abstract in nature you cannot create any object or instance for the abstract uh, or interface but in case you want to implement the interface to any class so you have to implement all the unimplemented method in the interface so that is the way right you can right only show the like functionality to the user instead of showing how it does or how it happen or develop static keyword static keyword can be used in the block level right code which is lengthy but the method level sometime or the variable level right in case you are defining something as static like uh, variable or the method automatically you can it will be treated as a global thing and it can be used anywhere in that main method or the class itself without creating the object or instance you can still use it in the main main method but in case it is not static so you need to first create the object or instance after that you can call them which is the class variable or the class method in the variable i already told right there are three type of method one is the public right sorry one is the local variable one is the class variable and one is the instance or the static variable then final keyword in case three way you can prevent the value change so for the variable level even you will write your objective is that nobody can change the variable value you need to define the variable as a final and in case you have already parent class is there but you don't want to inherit the parent class to any child class you can make it final and in case you are having two classes through where inheritance is already established but you don't want a method to be like uh, override in the other child class method you can make it final so that is the way right your final keyword also is like playing an important role in java so that's all from today's session guys thank you